President Samia Suluhu Hassan of Tanzania has dissolved the entire board of the Tanzania Electricity Supply Company, Tanesco, on Thursday, responding to widespread dissatisfaction over frequent power outages that have left Tanzanians frustrated. The power outages plaguing the nation are a consequence of power rationing, driven by reduced water levels in dams and ongoing repairs to power lines. This has resulted in a substantial 400 megawatt shortfall, exacerbating the already challenging situation. This bold move by President Samia Suluhu reflects the urgency to address the power crisis that has impacted various sectors of Tanzanian society. The power outages have not only affected households but have also had a significant impact on businesses and essential services. Drawing parallels with neighboring Kenya, which has also grappled with widespread power outages, President William Ruto has attributed the blackouts to faulty power lines. The Kenyan government is actively working to rectify these issues to ensure a stable power supply. The severity of the situation is highlighted by the disruption of major installations, including the Yomo Kenyatta International Airport, JKIA. President Samia Suluhu's decision to dissolve the Tanesco board underscores a commitment to address the root causes of the power crisis and implement strategic changes to ensure a more reliable electricity supply for Tanzanians. As Tanzania faces economic challenges exacerbated by the power shortages, the government's response emphasizes the need for swift action to mitigate the impact on citizens and businesses alike. The power outage crisis in both Tanzania and Kenya serves as a regional reminder of the critical importance of maintaining and upgrading power infrastructure. As countries in East Africa grapple with the consequences of climate change, such as reduced water levels affecting hydroelectric power generation, it becomes imperative for governments to invest in resilient and sustainable energy solutions. President Samia Suluhu's dissolution of the Tanesco board reflects a proactive approach to addressing the power crisis in Tanzania. The appointment of Dr. Rimo Nianzaho and the parallel challenges faced by Kenya underscore the regional nature of the issue, calling for collaborative efforts and strategic interventions to secure a stable and sustainable energy future for East Africa. On the other hand, the last batch of the multinational security force left in the DRC soil has, albeit fragile, the ceasefire lasted from March 7th to October 6, 2023, when it was breached following the resumption of hostilities between the M23 and Far DC, he said in his last briefing at EACRF headquarters. He added that EACRF also played a critical role in fostering harmonious coexistence between communities the troops exit DRC at a time when the second largest country in Africa is undertaking national elections. He noted that the eastern DRC remains a focal area of concern with the ongoing conflict directly impacting local and regional, social, political and economic well-being. Despite the successes Majiz Jensha Kiyugu pointed out, there remains a number of sticking points that requires intervention. He expressed concern over the posturing of various armed groups in areas vacated by EACRF and the return of M23 in the initially vacated locations. Anyway, what do you think about this video? Subscribe and give us your thoughts on the comment section below.